good evening to all actually i am in a very big problem <laughs> because all these people are compelling me to speak in english actually i don't know english at all <laughs> but uh, uh, because of this compulsion anyway i am trying to speak in english uh, so sorry for my poor language actually this is uh, i think this is the fourth time i am here in front of uh, you people and most of you all are know about solas uh, i think very there are very few people are here who don't know about solas uh, for them uh, i want to explain about solas you saw that video um, uh, it's not a perfect video it's we we, we made it in a hurry mood anyway uh, there is a history behind solas that uh, uh, you people know most of you people know about my daughter neelu uh, she was uh, at the age of 13 she diagnosed with uh, leukemia aml it is very dangerous uh, vigorous cancer blood cancer and the doctor said that there is a chance for living 3 months uh, the one and only chance to save her is bone marrow transplantation uh, nearly 25 years back so we took her to the bombay hospital uh, and my son uh, his marrow wa- was 100 percentage match for her so we tried our level best to save her uh, we took a new car we took a new house and everything what medical science can do we did everything that time she survived cancer also but when i was in tata hospital when uh, my daughter's the next next bed i saw many children uh, the, exactly the next bed in in one room i was watching that that's the same age a girl with same diagnosis thus that parents couldn't do uh, bone marrow transplantation that's not a matter but they couldn't even feed that child uh, so you, whether they, they don't know whether that girl will live tomorrow or not so uh, i saw hundreds of uh, parents like that in tata memorial hospital uh, and that was very thought provoking and very shocking uh, for me Uh, you can imagine i i'm also in a very severe pain because my daughter uh, was uh, uh, entering to bone marrow transplantation and that that is a very risky treatment but the same time i was thinking that i am uh, how uh, my situation is very very better than the other other uh, people around me uh, and uh, we are fi- at least financially we can do many things so i from the corridor itself from the hospital corridor itself i decided something to do for these children and i decided and that name itself i i kept in my mind solas uh, and i came back from uh, kerala i came br- back from bombay uh, to kerala uh, at that time my daughters uh, both hip hip bones are collapsed with a vascular necrosis some sometimes some doctors are here they can understand with the steroid uh, that that is a possibility to uh, happen the both hip hip re, uh, collapsed and she was totally in wheelchair but even though i i didn't uh, gave up my uh, dream my 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 decision to start solas and i i took 7 years to prepare myself to start uh, solas uh, because uh, i was not financially independent uh, and there is no permission from my home uh, so at, at first i i have to be uh, fi- financially independent so i decided i i know to design something uh, sari designing and everything and uh, i was asking permission to my husband so he was uh, very reluctant to give me the permission so one day i called him and i asked him why you are uh, not permitting me if you are giving me food i don't need your food like that and uh, i i went you people know who is sara joseph uh, one of the famous writer in kerala and uh, i uh, got a job in her, in sara sara teachers 
Sunny Laws uh, Construction Company. Uh, I worked there for seven uh, months, and I kept that uh, kept that uh, salary, and I took a small uh, room uh, to, uh, by uh, two thousand uh, rent for two thousand rupees rent. And I, I started my designing work. You can see the, the seven saris there. Uh, many people are wearing that saris. So I, I, at last, I, I started that Blooming Pearls. Uh, it was, it, the name was Blooming Pearls. And I made, made myself financially independent uh, because of this uh, uh, design, uh, designing work. And in that room, uh, I started Solus. When I felt that I am confident enough to start Solus, by that time I uh, spent, I, I do volunteering in Pain and Palliative Care Society uh, uh, to learn about how to support, how to support, uh, how to do support in community based. I, I, I mean, I mean Sick, we, we are not collecting the sick children in a room or in a, in a home. That's not the right way. These children are, must be taken by their parents, uh, by their home. By the, they, they have to live with their siblings, their grandparents. So how can we support them at their place? Uh, and uh, I, for, for learning that method, I, I went to uh, Pain and Palliative Care Society and uh, I learned, I spent seven years for learning all these things and to make me financially independent. And uh, I, I came back from uh, Bombay in, on 2001 and I, by 2007, I felt that I, I'm strong enough to start Solus. And I started Solus in 2007 uh, by inaugurating a play therapy unit in uh, the medical college. I, I, I know that how suddenly these children are um, uh, isolate, isolated in, in a small room or hospital rooms. They are losing their uh, playgrounds at school, at their home, and everything they are confined into, a, uh, into the hospital doors. So I, I started that. Uh, the play therapy unit uh, in 2007, November 8th. Uh, that was the beginning. And in my small room, that uh, 2,000 rupee rent room, I, there, is a, there was a table and a chair. I started Solus. Uh, from that uh, medical college itself, they are uh, starting, started so, uh, sending patients, uh, children and their parents to us to support their medicines and uh, all their other social needs. Uh, that time, uh, we were, uh, my dream was to support uh, 20, 30 children, N nothing more than that. Uh, that was my, uh, uh, I was afraid that how can I make 30,000 30, rupees in a month. But slowly, gradually, patient, uh, children are, um, um, the numbers are, uh, of children are increasing and by that time itself, the donations coming to Solus is increasing uh, uh, by the day by day. And the, by that time, I received the Vanida Woman of the Year Award in 2011. Uh, that time, uh, I think uh, there are 700 children uh, registered in uh, Solus. Uh, that Vanida also, I am always blaming uh, Manorama that you people give me the, <laughs> the hard hard job because that much children came to us uh, after receiving the Vanida award. And now, uh, you know, now there are, uh, our registration is be, uh, above 7,000, but some children are age over. Some children, we lose, lose some children, uh, lost their life. But still, we are supporting 5,000 above children each and every month. We are spending uh, 50 lakh rupees uh, in a month. Uh, I'm dead sure that uh, if I uh, stand here uh, by holding a placard solace, it, will, it, will, it is not going to be happened. Lot of uh, um, volunteers uh, came to me and they, they are uh, going to this. You can, you, uh, I think you noticed in the uh, video, they are going to these children's house, they are assessing their uh, problems, they are, uh, they are deciding what these people are needed, need, uh, needed, and everything we are doing for them. 
Uh, our first objective is uh, giving their life sub life saving drugs and the second objective is uh, what what all the social needs they have we are trying to be uh, to uh, support for that and the third objective is to uh, when a child diagnosed with a long term life threatening disease the other child is going to be neglected so we are supporting for their uh, studies and everything and that three objectives are we are doing very perfectly very very beautifully but the fourth objective is uh, to make the uh, parent the mothers and uh, empowered to make them earn some uh, money but uh, we are not su uh, full success in that it is very difficult to make them uh, make them uh, earn money because they are uh, in a that much depressed mood and they are always struggling with these uh, children with their hands Anyway, uh, I think uh, six years back, seven years back, Thomas know exactly the year I handed over the logo to Thomas here. Uh, once uh, I invited to US uh, for a to a church uh, to ha to receive some donation from a, a church in Dallas. So uh, by that time I was I came to Dallas. So, so uh, Thomas, uh, I I think he may be think uh, he thought maybe he, he thought that my he is my brother's classmate. Uh, so Shibata is coming. How can I avoid her? So I have to call her here like that. And I I came here. I spoke with some uh, people here. But they decided to start Solas here. That that's a uh, that's a uh, <laughs> uh, that's a, that, that's a historical decision for Solas. From uh, from there we started here. The people are Saju is here. They are doing uh, support. They are supporting for Solas uh, at Washington D.C. Uh, and many five centers uh, now there are five centers in uh, us and at this time i am trying to start one uh, one chapter also in new jersey so nowadays uh, we last year we uh, spent uh, nearly uh, 6 crore rupees for the children and i can um, i can give you uh, I can say you proudly that the administrative cost is very less because most of the people are volunteering. And from the money which you are sending, the administrative cost is one percentage because it's not... Uh, for no other uh, matter, we are not touching that money. It is going 100 percentage to these, uh, ch uh, to these children. And, and each and every month, we are assessing, we are reassessing their needs. We are uh, speaking with them. We are communicating with them. We are, and we are giving them. There is a house for them to. Uh, if they have a problem, they can come to us. If they have a problem, they they lot of people are here to share their uh, their sorrows and everything. Lot of people came uh, he, uh, visit there in uh, Kerala, uh, Walt, uh, uh, Vipin. Many, many, uh, many of them, uh, many, many people came to visit us. And it, uh, I can assure that if you came in uh, in our office, which which center it, it there are f uh, ten centers in uh, Kerala. If you pick a, a file from our uh, uh, cupboard. You, if you want to visit them to the, to their home, you can see how transparent we we are. Uh, what we wrote in that, all the supports are deciding uh, by the volunteers. All these supports are given to them. You can you can make assure you can uh, go and visit uh, each what which file you want to go there. That 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 much transparency I can uh, assure you. Each and every money we, you people are donating, it's uh, going to that. Uh, and for me, um, uh, at first, uh, uh, at first, Nilu, I I had two daughters, one Nilu and <laughs> one Swalas. Uh, now Nilu is there, is not here. So uh, Swalas become my daughter. 
and i am doing my level best to support all these children i am <laughs> i am sleeping in solas i am waking up in solas i am uh, actually i am living in solas uh, that i can assure you uh, I, <laughs> i think uh, you can ask if you have any questions you can ask me i can answer uh, I, i will uh, say one joke Uh, years back one person from uh, one person from uk visited to our solas his name is malcolm uh, and that time i was trying to explain him about solas two and a half hours i uh, spoke with him at last he said oh shiba you are very courageous he said that point you are very courageous because even though you don't know english but <laughs> you are trying to explain it <laughs> that's what happening here i am very courageous <laughs> and uh, and uh, i used to say that um, uh, uh, do you believe in god uh, if uh, somebody asked to me yes this definitely i believe in god Uh, i am communicating with him each and every moment uh, but my uh, god is not similar to your god like that i used to say like that my english is not similar to your english <laughs> if if any question you have you can ask me uh, and just please come to me uh, we can answer it together so if you have any questions please raise your hands and i can bring you the microphone i will try my level best <laughs> and uh, speech give uh, i i don't know how to give speech i don't know how to uh, by heart the things uh, so i just spoke from my heart that's all hi shiva yeah. hi my name is my name is sajan i think we we have been seeing you from 2018 here okay uh, thank you very much for all the things you are doing back in uh, kerala we also support so as the best way we can through our uh, organization manka yeah. bay malayali yeah. we conducted uh, walkathon and things yeah. like that and donated this year my question to you is even though it's a great thing you are doing in kerala mm. are you facing any more uh, struggles or faced any more struggles or facing any more struggles in kerala for so as it's cut day to day work actually uh, my struggle was uh, for, for the beginning for starting solas it's from my family itself only one person my husband amir ali he is totally against it by, but his family my family i used to say that uh, i am i'm daughter of pk rahim it's only a two step uh, forward to reach me like this it is very it's not a difficult thing uh, my father is a very a progressive person but uh, as as the wife of uh, amir ali it's, it was very difficult uh, that was the uh, pro, uh, problem for me to face this and uh, if you are asking uh, uh, the problems wa- what i am facing now uh, it's i'm not thinking it is a problem uh we are uh, doing solas i know it's this is the uh, very rare or very unique organization and we are doing it a, in a very beautiful way but uh, the male dominant society is always reluctant to accept it i am dead sure about that uh, and uh, see it, 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 there are lot of you 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 may you people may be reading uh, newspapers right you ever noticed that uh, about solas may may not uh, i don't think it it is not in uh, newspapers uh, each and every centers they they are doing many many activities sometimes i feel very uh, funny when i i used to see the uh, see the uh, news but there is nothing about solas it it is very difficult to accept it uh, as a one lady is uh, taking initiative and uh, making it uh, uh, successful but it it is very difficult to accept uh, for a male dominant society no other challenges i think uh, but uh, i want to uh, say that some uh, i am asking to the uh, i mean i mean i am proposing to the government that if you people if government is uh, supporting for all the medicines 
we we are a little bit comfortable that to attend the other social uh, social uh, problems if they are giving all these medicines we are spending uh, we last year we spent 3 crore rupees for their medicines only if that that is given by doc, uh, the hospitals the government we can do uh, we can support uh, the other social active uh, uh, issues that is more important that government co cannot do the government co cannot go and uh, assess all these things uh, that is the uh, that is the answer there is no other challenges there is no other challenges everybody see you just imagine once i decided to start solus uh, this much money, this much uh, people came to me, right? Came to Solas. Uh, I used to say this is a uh, collection of compassion. Not Shiba Amir, not Nilu, not the uh, th uh, uh, 13 trust members, not the advisory board. Lot of people are uh, there. It came uh, itself. Nobody, there is no membership charge, there is nothing. That's the answer. Any more questions? Any more questions? If there is no question, I can. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you. Uh, I think Ayan is the uh, Ayan, one boy from here. Uh, came to Solas and there are there are many children came to uh, Solas and did their volunteering volunteering in uh, Solas. Uh, let me invite Ayan uh, if he can share uh, uh, two minutes to you people. Uh, where is Ayan? He did two weeks uh, volunteering in uh, volunteering two weeks. Can you come here? At first, Ayan, you have to say uh, what I said and what I what you uh, see there. Uh, uh, is there any difference like that? I mean, I just uh, hi, I'm Ayan, and I just want to start this out by saying that what Ms. Sheba said was all correct. Um, when I went to India, I didn't really plan to go to Solis. My parents just convinced me to go. I was a little hesitant at first, but after the first day, I kind of saw the people and I saw how, um, how what Mishiba was doing was so great for the community. And these people, they would walk on foot for miles just to um, get registered or just have a checkup on whether or not they could have some sort of um, money or any sort of aid. And when they left, um, we would just give them a couple hundred rupees, but you could see how thankful they were and when you see that sort of joy in other people's eyes, it just moves you, I guess. And um, whenever I used to go to the home care of other people, it always shocked me how sort of happy these people were. They weren't living in the greatest conditions. They didn't have everything they wanted, unlike uh, a lot of us here, but they were as happy as they could be. And one specific kid who stuck out to me, his name was um, Hanan, and he um, had a tumor in his brain, and um, just a couple of days out of the, after the operation, we went to his house, and we saw him. He was all jumpy, all playful, and it, it just really stuck out to me how, um, how happy people can be, even with all these struggles, and we can learn from this, too, I guess, and... Yeah. There are a lot of people here uh, who visited Solas. Uh, they can uh, share their experience. And before leaving this the stage, I want to clarify that Amir, Amir Ali is a very good husband. <laughs> the best father and the best son uh, and everything. He's a little bit possessive. That was the problem. But when I received the Vanita uh, Woman of the Year Award, I received uh, uh, the first message uh, uh, I received from him, Shiba, you are great, like that. <laughs> <laughs>